fashion is that it changes. It never stays the same. And that's what becomes totally addictive and totally fascinating and exciting. In New York, you know, it's young designer, young designer, young designer. Very new emerging talent. I think Milan is sort of where you see all the big houses, you know, show their sort of fabulous craftsmanship and luxury goods. And then in Paris, the sort of risk takers meet with the old guard. And it's like a great, you know, sort of combination of sort of fantasy and sort of practicality. And I think this season, it's great that we're seeing things that people really want to wear and buy. And right here, right now, people want easy elegance. And that's translated into lots of sportswear. The easy oversized sweatshirts and the soft pants. We've seen fur at nearly every collection. Lace and brocade and lots of embellishment and embroidery on one side. And then on the other side, we have this complete minimalism. I really love that color palette of the camel, the gray, the navy, and I really am excited about the sort of cleaning up of fashion, moving in a more refined way. We pride ourselves on finding new designers, we pride ourselves on searching the world for the very, very best merchandise. But it is glamorous, you know what I mean? I think there's an enthusiasm, uh, you know, just to sort of be here and watch it all unfold. And it's wonderful to see all the editors, you know, sort of dressed and they see a trend and the next day, you know, they're wearing it. I think it's all down to making a woman look good and feel good about herself. And also making her feel like she's made a good investment regardless of her budget. If we get that right, then our readers will be happy and that makes us immensely happy too.